So in this video, I'm injecting a patient for cervical dystonia. And right now, I am palpating the right side for the uh, location of splenius capitis and semispinalis capitis. Both of these muscles cause uh, postrocolis or pulling back of the head. But they're also rotators, especially splenius capitis is a strong ipsilateral rotator of the head. So if you have a ipsilateral torticollis, then the splenius capitis can be involved. The semispinalis capitis is actually a weak rotator, but it rotates contralaterally, just like SCM, that it rotates the head to the opposite side. Now, these muscles can be injected to, in one go because they're in different layers. Splenius capitis is more superficial and semispinalis capitis is more deeper. Typical location is the groove between trapezius and SCM on the lateral side of the posterior neck. And... Um, the um, uh, the first muscle that you may get is trapezius if you are too medial but as you go deeper then you will get to splenius capitis and then if you keep going then you will get to semispinalis capitis especially in the lower half of the neck if you're going in the upper half of the neck like this injection then sometimes the splenius and semispinalis separate out while splenius capitis remaining more lateral and semispinalis capitis becoming more medial now i'm palpating for the trapezius muscle on this side trapezius uh, and then deeper to trapezius, I'm trying to palpate for the levator scapulae. Levator scapulae goes from the apex of the scapula to the lateral transverse processes of C234 and runs under the trapezius. So in most location, you'll have to go through trapezius to go into it. One approach is this lateral approach, uh, which I am showing uh, right now, where I'm trying to push the trapezius away and feel for the cord-like muscle of levator scapulae. And this is about the point where it starts separating out into three separate heads for insertion into the three transverse process of C3, C234. And if you inject at this point or lower, then you can get the whole bundle together. Otherwise, if you go any higher, you will get individual bundles going to specific transverse muscle. This approach, uh, uh, the needle is kept horizontal or, pa or parallel to the ground. And then I typically push the trapezius away and not go through it. But pushing it away is required to get to the levator, which is covered by the interior edge or margin of the trapezius at this location. Again, as you can see, I'm using EMG guidance to listen for this muscle to make sure that I've reached the levator by listening to the dystonic activity and also making sure that my impression that a certain muscle is involved is confirmed by the baseline dystonic activity of those muscles. Now injecting the trapezius itself, trapezius has lateral fibers here that I'm injecting. It also has posterior fibers that you can inject preferentially if there is posterior pulling of the head.